All right, guys, if you're watching this, you're a Crusader in Diablo Immortal, and you're probably wondering why on earth is there a PvP video. Crusaders in PvP aren't the greatest. Uh, we're a melee class that's not strong as a barbarian. Primarily, we're supposed to be a support build, but support in PvP isn't that exciting. You get lots of assists, but there's no glory. Um, so what I've trying to do here is continuing on with my stun Seder pve build and seeing how i can re apply the same concepts into a viable melee pvp build we are using a two skill rotation both using total loss of control to proc a chip of stone flesh and to also use the baron four piece and i'm finding this to be quite a fun build and we'll go through it and show you some examples of the strats to make it viable. So firstly, we look at Sacred Chain. Sacred Chain needs to be paired with a few different legendaries. First off, Prider's Bait, which would mean enemies affected by your Sacred Chain are pulled together. We then pair this with Public Penance. Sacred Chains now throw Frozen Chains that deal more damage, but do not break from damage, but do have a shorter duration. We have now is sacred chains that will reach out grab multiple people together and stun them which is a great skill to have for our stun seder build as we have chipper stone flesh and baron four piece to increase damage now the legendaries we apply group the stunned people together pulls them in and uh, they, they can't break now it only lasts for three seconds but it is enough to get your second skill set activated Second skill in this rotation is Spinning Shield with the Pouncing Shield Legendary. Spinning Shield now bounces between several enemies instead of returning to you. This means that when we do Frozen Chain to group multiple people together, Avenger Shield bounces all off between them like a pinball machine. Bounces up to 10 enemies instead of returning to you. The change, however, can do maximum of three. But the idea being, you throw the chains, group the players, hard total loss of control via stun, and then the spinning shield ping pongs between all three of them with the increased damage due to Chip of Stone Flesh uh, curse and the Baron Four Piece, as it is a loss of control. Now we use the shield charge uh, skill paired with Tromp Down, the pants legendary effect. Shield charge now rushes to a targeted enemy, stunning them. This is a total loss of control. It's a hard stun, which would then proc Chip of Stone Flesh and also the Baron Four Piece, which we have equipped as well. And last but not least, we are using Vortex on the Iron Suzerain. It's paired with Condemned, and Condemned will now continuously drag enemies towards you. Now, this isn't a total loss of control. It is a loss of control, um, so the Baron 4 piece should still work. And you can use this paired with the Shield Charge so that you have two skill rotations, uh, Condemned and Shield Charge, and Frozen Chains with Spinning Shield. However, this can also be used strategically as a defense mechanism. Let's say you're running away. Let's say a Crusader is running at you on a horse. Let's say a Barbarian is jumping at you. Uh, quickly proc this to give you some time to stagger uh, whilst you're trying to get away or using it really as a defensive mechanism whilst you're charging in with the shield charge to interrupt anyone around you that isn't being targeted by the shield charge stun effect. Now gem wise uh, there's a few pvp uh, must-haves in here phoenix ashes for one um, I'm running uh, blessed and frozen heart seeping bile chip of stone flesh and blood soaked jade a few of these are must-haves a few of these are best in class um, however it's really up to you I am purely focusing on resonance um, my pve resonance is slightly higher because I haven't um, upgraded phoenix ashes as of yet but phoenix ashes blood soaked jade um, chip and seeping would be uh, the ones I would highly recommend as well as well I mean all of them really I'm enjoying them and I haven't really seen any need to change anything else just yet if you guys have any recommendations however please let me know I am purely focusing on resonance for this build because I am up against people usually 1 to 1500 1k to 1500 higher than me than rezo and every little bit counts and lastly, this is a stun build. So we are using the Jolt family uh, for the armor. 
and also the ancestral property dealing damage and stunning enemy for three seconds. Now these will mix and match depending on what legendary you drop, but just focus on things that triggers after loss of control or damage or a receiving damage. I've got a summon one here on my shoulder that's really annoying because I'm a crusader. I don't summon. It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, this is a stun build, so jolt and stun for ancestral properties and family bonuses. Here's an example of a skill rotation in action. There's a barbarian that's going to be coming up to me. I instantly go with the shield charge, which stuns him, start attacking him. I trigger the vortex to stagger them as well, so there's no chance of them moving. Throw a shield. I miss with the shield. Continuously damage, damage, damage. I then start running away, but then come back with the frozen chains to, st to stun them. Hit them again a few times, and then I go with the shield charge again. Now here's another example of our skill rotation. We go in with the vortex and the spinning shield to hit that guy, stun him, and then group him and his mate together. We then throw the frozen chain to then again group them together with a hard stun, and then the spinning shield which starts ping-ponging between the two of them whilst you are mopping them up with your primary attack damage. Really nice skill rotation to get two to three kill streaks with relative ease. Now the spinning shield can also be used defensively. So here I am, I've um, thrown a spinning shield and I can see I'm just going to be overwhelmed here. I'm not a tank, so I decide, you know what, I'm going to gap it, live to fight another day and start moving away. Meanwhile, my spinning shield is bouncing, like we know, up to 10 enemies together. There was about five of them all grouped up. And whilst I'm leaving, my spinning shield is doing damage for me and I get a nice little kill in the process whilst running away. Now another example of the spinning shield being used defensively, this is at the very start of the PvP match. Now Crusaders aren't frontline tanks, uh, so you really shouldn't do what I did here. Ran up first, tried to do my skill rotation, realized I was going to be very quickly overwhelmed by all of the um, CC control. So I triggered a spinning shield, and you can see it at the very top there pinging off between people like three quarters of the screen away whilst I start running away to try and get away from the crowd control skills. Spinning shield is bouncing between everyone that came as front line. Whilst I'm running away, I get a nice kill. For example, the frozen chain spinning shield combo, we throw the chain, the uh, enemy gets frozen in place, and then we ping the shield off. It starts bouncing in between the three players in that area, and we mop up a nice little kill in the process. So another example here of using Vortex and the Shield Charge to jump in and stun a player. Once we've done that, we will hit Spinning Shield to start ping-ponging, and we also throw the Frozen Chain after the Shield to stun them again. Uh, as you may have noticed, the PvP meta is about crowd control, uh, and so this build is specifically for crowd control and having two skill sets that you can rotate, Shield Charge and Vortex, and Spinning Shield and Frozen Chains. And that's exactly what we did here to get a nice little two kill. Now Crusader's not a tank, but you can be a pest. So it's about flanking and cleaning up. So again, Vortex and Shield Charge to get someone who is already engaging and uh, wipe them up, mop them up from the side. You're not a tank. If you 1v1 dead ahead, you're not going to win. So another example of the skill rotation here, there's two enemies down here. We throw the frozen chain to get one of them. We throw the spinning shield, which missed, and then vortex and shield charge. Vortex groups everyone together, and then with the Baron damage increase, we get a nice little easy two kill streak there as well. So another example, frozen chain, spinning shield. We have an enemy on the idol. We throw the chain, it freezes him. We throw the shield. It starts ping-ponging, ping-ping-ping, hits him twice, done, and dusted. Another example here, 1v1, we do the vortex to stagger them, we do the shield charge to stun them, and then once my frozen chains has cooled down, we hit with the frozen chains and spinning shield to mop them up as well. So a few things to note with this build is that you're not a tank. You can't be frontline. We have to flank. We have to come around the sides. We have to be a pest. Come in, do crowd control via your two skill rotations, and then if they haven't died, 
run away and heal you'll find yourself doing these attacks in waves and what should happen is that if you are able to pick people off or get weaker players you'll still be able to get assists with the more tanky people so play smart play calm slow and controlled go in flank from the back do your skill rotations to stun the baron will help you the chip of stone flesh will help you if they haven't died run away let someone else kill them and get the assist you're not going to be top of the leaderboard as a crusader very 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 rarely um, but you should be MB mvp quite often because your skills can kill but more importantly they can assist via the crowd control mechanics and it's a really fun way to play you're not just a holy banner on wheels that a party is looking for and feeling pretty useless any other time this is what i've been using for pvp i've been really enjoying it um, first build of this i got 22 and 2 i was very very happy with that but otherwise you're usually top of the leaderboard via the assists because you start the engagements via flanking and then run away to let someone else clear up let me know what you think if there's any other crusader pvp builds that you love let me know i would love to check them out peace